In this question, a student adds 45 grams of lead 2 nitrate, which has the chemical formula PbNO3 2, to 100 grams of water, H2O, at a temperature of 30 degrees C, and stirs the mixture for an extended period of time. We're told in this question we should round all answers to the nearest 5 grams. Okay. Our first question is to figure out what is the solubility of lead 2 nitrate at 30 degrees C. So let's have a look at the graph and find lead 2 nitrate, which has the formula PbNO32. Here it is. So that dark blue line there represents the solubility of lead 2 nitrate over different temperatures. And this question is asking about 30 degrees C. So if we look at our temperature scale along the bottom, here's 30 degrees C. So if we go up and find where that crosses with our lead to nitrate graph, it crosses here. And if we follow that along here, that gets us at halfway between 60 and 70. So that would be 65. So our graph is telling us that at a temperature of 30 degrees C, we have a solubility of 65 grams of solute per 100 grams of H2O. So let's fill that into our answer box over here. And what that means is that if we have 100 grams of H2O water, you can dissolve up to 65 grams of lead 2 nitrate into it. That's the maximum amount you can dissolve in 100 grams of water. Okay, now our question tells us we added 45 grams. So we need to figure out how much lead 2 nitrate will dissolve in the water and how much will remain undissolved. So we can dissolve up to 65. Since 45 is less than 65, that's all going to dissolve in the water. So all 45 grams that we add are going to dissolve. So that means that there's going to be no or zero lead nitrate left undissolved in the water because everything that we added dissolves because we added less than the amount that is our solubility. So we have 45 grams of lead to nitrate dissolved in the water. We could have up to 65 grams dissolved in the water. So the type of solution here is unsaturated. Saturated means it's got as much as it can fit. Here we could fit 20 more grams of lead to nitrate before the solution is saturated. So this one is going to be unsaturated. Let's do one more question of this type. In this question, we add 85 grams of potassium nitrate, which has the formula KNO3, again to 100 grams of water at 30 degrees C, and stir the mixture for an extended period of time. So again, first step is finding the solubility of potassium nitrate at 30 degrees C. So let's first find the line that represents potassium nitrate, KNO3. Here it is on our graph, it's that pink one. And we're looking at 30 degrees C. So along the bottom on temperature axis, let's find where 30 would be. Here's 30. And let's go and find out where that gets us on our graph. It hits exactly there. So that will be at 50 on our y-axis, which is our solubility. So at 30 degrees C, we have a solubility of 50 grams of solute per 100 grams of H2O. So let's fill that in in our answer box. We got 50 grams of potassium nitrate per 100 grams of H2O. So again, that means if we have 100 grams of water at 30 degrees C, the maximum amount of KNO3 we can dissolve is 50 grams. Now in this question, we add 85 grams to the water, but only 50 of them can dissolve. So the amount that dissolves in this time is gonna be 50 grams because we added more than the solubility. And then whatever's left over is gonna be undissolved. So we added 85 grams and then 50 of that dissolves. So we're left with 85 minus 50, which is 35 that are undissolved. 
So we can fill that in here. So of the 85 we added, up to 50 can dissolve, so it did, and the remainder left undissolved in the water. What type of solution is this? A saturated solution is one that contains the maximum amount of dissolved material that it can. This can contain up to 50 grams dissolved potassium nitrate, and it does. So this is a saturated solution.